Right, it still looks very 9th of October. I've got a packet here. Um, where to put my knife? Oh, this one's even in worse condition than the last. Oh my god, this one's in worse condition than the last. How the hell? Okay, so... You see, uh, this is the Biffy Clyro cassette I got, and you can see it's got damage along here. The replacement is even more damaged. Honestly, what's happened here is obviously the cassette's fallen out and it's just got completely crushed. God. The bloody replacement they sent is even more damaged than the first one. And it's just like, God's sake, my companies. Just like. Like cassettes, you know, August. I meant to go in plastic boxes for a reason. They might have gone in there for a reason. It's to stop them from getting damaged. Simple as. You know, you wouldn't... You wouldn't put a CD or Blu-ray or whatever. You wouldn't put that with out a plastic box to protect it, would you? It's just bloody ridiculous. I'm going to have to contact them again about this. Great! This is just bloody peeing in the arse, this. That's a different number. Yeah, it is. This one's a lower number than the one I had before. So, yeah, this is this is not good. Basically, this is not good. Okay, so it's the 31st of October. A.K.A. Halloween. I've been meaning to unwrap this for a couple of days now. This is from World of Books, and I don't like the fact that they just send things in a bloody just plastic envelope type thing. Because it does mean that it's more likely to get damaged. Like, this would be a case of one of them bubble wrap, you know, packets being used. For, but this this is, seems like it's a hardback cover. So hopefully it's alright. Okay, it's in pretty good condition, actually. So this is Waltz and Gromit uh, Crackers in Space. So yeah, this is hardback, actually. I didn't think it would be a hardback one, because the other Waltz and Gromit book I had there wasn't hardback. Yeah, it's quite nice artwork, actually. On there. It's quite nice, but... I also have the audiobook cassette to go along with it. Okay, we quickly went off model. We very quickly went off model. <laughs> Not terrible. Ooh, ooh, there's some residue of where a sticker once was, which I'm gonna have to clear. Up. Ah, she can sign. Yeah. One day, one day, someone might. Like do a comparison one, although the audiobook is probably slightly different to this, just because of it being visual. But yeah, I didn't expect this just to be purely comic, but it is. Yeah. Ooh. And there we go. Um, I think this was under three pound delivered. So yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so it's still the thirty first of October, aka Halloween, but uh. I forgot about this package that actually came today. Okay, so this uh, is the replacement Blu-ray case sent free of charge for this South Park. Um, unfortunately, this uh, Blu-ray case it's a standard thickness one, which unfortunately will mean this will not actually fit it properly because this is one of the slim 
ones, but uh, I will keep it regardless and nice. But uh, yeah, the seller contacted me and said, I'll send you a, another one uh, case for your charge. So obviously I took them up on that. So yeah, uh, it is a, clearly a used case that is a bit dirty. But yeah, I was wondering what it was, it felt awfully light. But uh, yeah, it's got a little regardless, I'll uh, keep that because you never know, it may be useful one day for something. But uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's the 2nd of uh, November today. Yeah. Right, okay, so this, you might be, some viewers who know me, uh, who have seen my other videos, might be thinking, don't you already have, like, two other copies of this album? Uh, yes, but, this is, if you notice, that's a different DVD in there, as a bonus exclusive, and searching for this one is a bit difficult. Uh, so this one includes a DVD of James Blunt's Live in Paris, which interestingly has nine out of the ten tracks on the album live, which is interesting. But, so yeah, this cost me £2.57 with free postage, so that was good. But, uh, yeah, basically, interestingly, it came from Germany, even though it's live in Paris. But, uh, yeah, the CD album itself is exactly the same, but obviously the DVD isn't. And uh, the DVD I'll be ripping, and also I'll do a conversion to uh, MP3 so I can listen to it um, on the go on my phone. Can I peel that sticker off the back? Yes I can, and rather easily. There we go, so yeah, a couple of scuffs, they're not, I thought they were cracks, but they're not, they're just some scuffs, but uh yeah, uh, it was basically just to get that live um, version out there that I didn't know existed. So yeah, the other one, the live in Ireland version, uh, is much more common and is very cheaply and easily available. But yeah, £2.50 with free postage from Germany. Not bad. So, we got another package here. Ooh. It's an invoice and stuff flying about. So this, I was lucky to get this in the UK. Um, can't remember off the top of my head how much this was, but it's from Discogs, so I can very, very quickly again. I should should I prepare these things in advance? Yes, but can you fact myself? I didn't know what it was going uh, to be so this cost me okay so this only cost me four pound fifty including the postage and uh, this is mix 94.1 live from las vegas and uh, this is interesting because this is unavailable in the uk it was never released in the uk only in the us but the reason i got it mainly <laughs> Is for the last track. Uh, there are some other ones that I may listen to in that on it as well, but uh, yeah. Here we go. It's notice there's something printed on the underside, so I'm wondering if this is a replacement case because it does feel like one of them cheap, very cheap uh, replacement cases. Oh, it's just a single sided thing with some special thanks and that on there. Okay. So yeah, I saw that and picked that up, and this is in pretty good nick. Um, that might be because this is more than likely a replacement case, especially since it has artwork underneath, which you can no longer see because of these, you know, bits of black plastic there. But um, yeah, there we go, people. There we go. Right. Okay. So it's um the little um. It's the 4th of November. What on earth just fell over? Okay. Uh, this came, this package came on the 3rd 
uh, in November, though unfortunately it's got addresses written bloody everywhere on it. Good. That's the problem with having so much on your bloody desk. Just everything wants to bloody fall off. Everything you're just kind of waiting on falling off. There's a bit of a smell to it. Not a bad smell, just... I don't know. Anyway, now I can show. It is well packaged, I'll give it that. It is very well packaged. So it is another James Blunt uh, back to Beglum on cassette, uh, and this one is also brand new and sealed. I'm not sure whether the other one was brand new sealed or just resealed, but I never opened it anyway. This one I know for a fact is just brand new and uh, sealed. Also, Dolby noise reduction, hooray! But uh, yeah, uh, I won't be opening this. Uh, this thing cost me, I think it was. 11 12 pound including the postage so yeah for a brand new uh sealed cassette from the mid 2000s not bad i can't i remember where this came from i think possibly the us i'm not quite sure but uh yeah there we go people there we go okay so it's the 7th of november and before i start any of this. Um, I was doing the uh, washing up today and I was about mm, 90 about 90 percent the way through I just had a few cups and a few bits of cutlery to clean off and this last cup uh, since it was I was washing it it slipped out of my hand I tried to catch it with my other hand and it smashed on my actual hand and uh, just went everywhere and basically I then started bleeding quite a bit um, over all the remaining dishes and uh, I, I was the surrounding area was basically covered in bits of china and I was basically I was shouting to my parents uh, next go after about minutes of it still bleeding I was seeing seeing Saying, can someone help me? I'm bleeding. Can someone help me? I'm bleeding. There's china everywhere and I can't move from here because I might cut myself. Can someone pass us the brush or something? Or something? Can someone come help us? God, if it had been a fire, they would have burnt because, begrudgingly, after a good five minutes, my mum came and um, she was seemingly blind to all of the bits of uh, china that was like the china cup that was smashed all over she was oblivious to that because and um she is also I, I swear she must be blind now because uh she poured some disinfectant that knocked on where i was bleeding where the cut was but on my wrist and i said and then she said there you go and i went that's not where i was cutting she said where where's the cut then and i said well where it's bloody bleeding from yeah anyway i'm gonna take these plasters off now um i was cutting three places <laughs> um, yeah, it's actually not too bad. Actually, it looked it looked a lot worse before, but uh, I'm gonna show you anyway. So, but uh, yeah, it's from there to there, and there was a cut there, and there's a slight one there. But uh, yeah, there we go. Hooray! So yeah, this was. 
hours and hours ago this was about oh, probably about five hours ago now so yeah thankfully missed any arteries or anything and didn't go too deep thankfully but uh yeah ah oh skins a bit now um anyway to the thing i was actually on about so you might remember a little while ago i got one of those diy foldy stepping schools uh, so that I could easily reach my mini fridge and my cassettes because the problem was is that uh, basically I was having to lean over my turntable and a lot of the time I was knocking it because I was having to lean over it I'm only um, five foot nine but to be honest even if I was six foot even if I was six foot four I'd probably still knock into it so I got a stepping stool to give us a bit of extra height unfortunately um, I got it from Home Bargains, it was only £4, and uh, ooh, it's unfortunately in the last month or so, it's just broke, yeah, it's just, it's just completely broke, I know what you're thinking, oh you fat bastard, but uh, this was rated for uh, people who are much heavier than I am, so yeah, unfortunately the weak part of it is in the middle, uh, unfortunately. And that is just where it started cracking and then eventually it just completely broke. So yeah, this thing is just completely useless. Anyway, so I thought I'll get a proper one. I'll get a better one. Because I just got that one just because on a whim because I just happened to see it there. And I thought, oh yeah, that'll be useful. Now I rely on it. So I decided I'll go to Ikea and I saw a plastic like bathroom step. That was, I think, £6.50 or something like that. And uh, when I was on my way, I saw that they had wooden steps, and I thought, oh, they're a lot nicer. However, they were £30, £35. Pound. And I thought, mm, I don't really want to spend that on a step. So I checked Facebook Marketplace. And lo and behold, I found one. This one uh, was listed for £15. Pound. So was another one, in fact, and they were both pretty near local to his. And um, I offered the them both... £10 just to see if they take it. If they said no, I would pay 15 anyway, but you know, in this economy, you got to try and save every penny. But uh, the first person never even saw the message, never even looked at it. But the second person replied, and uh, here it is. It's quite large, as you can see. It's in pretty good condition, actually. It is in pretty good nick. The, re the, only, the only thing about it is there's a couple of, you can see the gash there. And there's a slight gash on that leg, but I'm not really bothered about the cosmetics of it. I mean, it's a wooden step, basically. And thankfully, you know, they're at the back as well. So, yeah, and plus where it is, it's not going to be seen. And I'm not bothered. As long as its structural integrity isn't, you know, hindered by it, which should be. And I stepped on it and that before, uh, in fact, with my shoes on. And it was perfectly fine, so... Yeah, now I'll, in fact, and this one is a lot bigger than the other one as well, a lot higher up. So, yeah, it should be even easier to reach the stuff, those cassettes on, where, where, where's my finger? There's my finger. Those ones on the very, very top there. So, yeah, it just made life easier. So, um, hooray for, hooray for that. So, yay. God, this is... Now that I took that plaster, I think I'm going that is oof, sore. But I, uh, yeah, I think it anyway, was falling off and I'm, I'm going to go, I'm about to go in the bath. So, but, um, yeah, happy days uh, with that, people. Hooray.